Fallout 4's long-promised mods have finally arrived on Xbox One this week, and the mod store is already starting to fill up with weird, wonderful, and copyright-infringing ways for you to muck around with your copy of Fallout 4. So what's there from the get-go? Here are seven mods that caught our eye. Fallout 4 loves dogs, sure, but where's the love for the Fallout 4 cat lovers? In the mods is where. First up is the Cat Meat mod, which turns your faithful canine companion Dog Meat into a cat, yeah. Totally the same in every other respect, only now he's a cat. Over there. Excellent cat AI there. Also for cat lovers is the Craftable Cats mod, which allows you to make your own cats out of old milk bottles for some reason. You can also craft food and water bowls to stop them wandering off and drowning, apparently enough of a problem that it needed its own section in the mod notes, and each cat you make adds one happiness point to the settlement it's in. So all you need is 100 cats for 100 happiness. That is not how it works in real life, just FYI. Also, what the hell, McCready? Those better not be cats. <laughs> Have you ever been playing Fallout 4 and thought to yourself, this is all well and good, but I'd really prefer it if I could use some sort of futuristic laser sword, much like the lightsabers seen in the Star Wars universe, but not them, obviously, as they're the intellectual property of the Walt Disney Corporation. Well, good news, here's a mod that gives you lightsabers. I mean, laser sabers. Different thing. Install this mod and a trunk is dropped in your garage in Sanctuary with a whole rainbow of different coloured sabers, complete with cool sounds for you to run around de-living ghouls with. <laughs> fun. Fallout 4's bobbleheads are super useful as they grant you permanent stat bonuses, but they're scattered all over the map and hard to find unless you go online and look at a guide. Excellent. Well, the Collector Series Bobbleheads mod changes that by adding a bobblehead quest to your quest log that asks you to head to the vault Regional Headquarters in downtown Boston. Here you'll find some new fan-written lore that explains a bit more about the Bobblehead's backstory and reveals that they're now fitted with tracking chips, allowing you to track them down more easily. It's a small touch, but it makes a big difference towards making Bobblehead hunting feel like more than a random fetch quest. Perfect. Now, if only I'd had this Bobblehead before I came in here, I'd have been smart enough to know not to come into a library full of turrets and super mutants. A small but significant mod, the Sanctuary Shuts Up mod, does just that. Makes everyone in Sanctuary shut up for five seconds. If you love Fallout 4 but kind of wish that the solution to every problem wasn't just shoot everyone in the head, then the non-lethal resolution mod might be the one for you. You're gonna just do what I say. Among other options, this mod lets you craft a tranquilizer pistol which you can use to knock out enemies for a period of time, thus keeping your conscience clear. I mean, yes, you still have to shoot them in the head, but they'll be fine, honestly. If decorative mods are more your thing, then you're going to want to check out the immersive Lawn Flamingos mod. Now I know what you're thinking. Lawn Flamingos? That's boring. Well, is it still boring if the flamingos are wearing a variety of hats? What do you mean, yes? Well, I like them anyway. Guess who schools us for no reason at all to get us grandstanding and hot dogging it? Last, and definitely best, is the Macho Claws mod. In the grand tradition of Skyrim's Macho Dragons, this mod replaces all the death claws in the game with the late pro wrestling legend, Macho Man Randy Savage. Basically the entire concept of mods justified right here, folks. I'll never forgive myself, it's the worst day of my life! So those were 7 Fallout 4 mods on Xbox One we think are worth checking out. Which one did you like the look of most? What other mods will you be downloading? Let us know in the comments and like and subscribe for more Fallout 4 from outside Xbox. Thanks for watching!